Now let's talk about total magnification. On many of the labs that we'll be doing this year, one of the questions that you'll need to answer is, what is the total magnification under which you viewed your specimen? And to figure that out, it's, it's very simple. Uh, we have two things. Uh, first of all, this is called a compound microscope. Now you probably remember from elementary school that compound means to multiply. So there are two things that we're multiplying together. First of all, we have three objective lenses here. The smallest one, the red one right here, is a 4x magnification. So that means it enlarges whatever is under the slide by four times. So that's the smallest one. The second one, yellow, is 10. So that is 10x. And the third, the high power, is 40x. So we have 4, 10, and 40. Now that is not the total magnification. That is only the magnification of the objective lens. The compound part comes in because the eyepiece that you look through also magnifies the image. And if you look on the eyepiece, you notice it says 10x. So the reason this is called a compound microscope is you're multiplying the magnification of the eyepiece by the magnification of the objective lens. So we have 10 times 4, 40 total magnification, 10 times 10, 100 total magnification, and 10 times 40, 400 total magnification. So if you're asked what the total magnification of your sketch or drawing is, you want to multiply the eyepiece times whatever lens you're using. That will give you the total magnification. I want to end by talking about some common mistakes that students make when using the microscope. And I do this for two reasons. First of all, to make your experience with the microscope more enjoyable. And secondly, to make my ear more enjoyable. So I don't have to answer the same questions and fix the same problems over and over again. So here are some common mistakes that student make, students make. Um, the symptoms are you look into your eyepiece and everything is black. And here are some possible reasons for that. First of all, um, make sure the light is turned on. Okay? If it's not turned on, you won't see anything through your eyepiece. Secondly, if you look through, it's still black, the light is on, make sure you adjust your diaphragm. Make sure that it's clicked into one of the circles and um, adjust it so that the light can shine through into the stage. If the eyepiece is still black when you look through it, make sure the objective lens is clicked into um, one of the different eyepieces. If it's between, you'll see nothing. So make sure you can feel it click into place. Those are three things that are, um, three mistakes that are commonly made. So light on, um, diaphragm, turn to one of the circles, and eyepiece clicked into place. Another very common mistake that people make and a reason they get frustrated with using the microscope is that they put their slide on the stage, but then they um, try to start at the medium or the high power. And that's very difficult because it's, it's tough to focus when you're magnifying it so much. So always make sure that you start at low power and work your way up to high power. It'll save you a lot of frustration and a lot of time. So those are some common mistakes that are made. Um, hopefully now that you feel confident with the parts of the microscope, the things that you'll need to adjust and manipulate, and that you'll have a good year this semester as you um, explore the world of microbiology.